Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time for the collector. We've got the bloke shed auction this week and it's a cracker. Heaps of cool stuff. This is a nice little photograph of a Tom Roberts painting, but it's actually signed by Tom Roberts. It's hard to see on this, but there's a better image of it online. A little cool little deck of pin-up girl playing cards over the back. Got some good little dinky toys and other. Little fire trucks, a little, um, micro model, Australian one. Little ivory leg-shaped pocket knife's a ripper. Little Tutankhamun pocket knife and another pocket knife with advertising. Little car shaped bottle openers from adjoining Ballarat. More nice little paper clips, the hands. Got more die cast dinkies and silver fob chains and gold sort of plated pens. The plastic bag over the back's a really nice little fire starting kit. And so got more jewellery, lovely old Temple Bar sweet slice tobacco tin in fantastic condition. Lovely fob chain with medallions. Lots more sort of Mickey Mouse stuff. Watches, some great little sort of butterfly wind-up tin toys. It's a nice little lot here, little Japanese sort of little ink pot with the ball. Interesting little bit bronzy looks to be. And some other nice little Vesta cases and things like that in the jewellery cabinet. I like this little trunk, he's kind of cute. Really nice arts and crafts hall stand with the sort of inlaid tulip design flanking the mirror. This is fantastic, an old motor, a little single cylinder thing. It's got some numbers across the sides of it. Hard to read though, I think it's probably on the other side actually, it was easier to read, there you go. A little sort of HR or something like that, and we'll see what number 03871. Cool little thing. What else have we got? Weights, hold on, Holden owner's manual, tech, uh, mint box tracks, Holden die cast. Pretty cool, the Super King truck there with a the sort of French signage. Um, British India line paperweight, some Holden sort of ephemera, nice fishing tackle, sort of gun making catalog. The old VFL bendies are pretty cool over the back. And so we've got heaps of tools, toolboxes, sort of toys and blokey gear, some great clothes. Betty Page shirts, a ripper, all the original label and stuff. Fantastic coat or rain jacket from the Vietnam War. Got all embroidered sort of details on it. And the back as well. Needs a little bit of work. It's a bit damaged here and there, but it's only damaged on the um, seam, so it can be put back together. It's interesting as well. The sort of oriental Japanese sort of fireman's coat. Nice old spice sort of winter coat. Smoking jacket. Mambo and other sort of summer shirts. Cool scout uniform, full length black motorbike leathers, baseball, bowling shirts, um, western shirts, hunting vests, suits, coats, some pretty cool um, sort of old sort of I think post World War II pilots pants, got all the original label on them inside, pretty amazing, A really cool sort of motorbike suit outfit as well there made by Mars with the matching pants and the jacket. What else have we got? Heaps more tools and stuff. Kitchen alia, more tools. M&M dispensers. Sort of 70s gear, nice toolboxes. Box of car parts. What else have we got? Boxes. This is a big sort of sharpening machine. It's got all the different little wheels and stuff there to go on it. Really nice box of spanners and stuff. Sid Chrome and King Dick. This looks like a bloody big electric hacksaw or something like that. A bit of sort of brass and glass tables, dressing table and some other gear. Heaps of packing crates. Heaps of tools and saws and stuff in boxes. What else have we got? It's a good little box of camera gear. This looks like an old Holden XY or XW tail light with all the spare lenses to go on it. Footy jumpers, oscilloscope. Cane furniture, quad box, some other sort of audio gear, a couple of blocks, boxes of sort of blokey stuff with some big brushes and ropes and old car stereos, box of the older footy jumpers, some of them are signed, what else have we got, records, magazines and ephemera, got some sort of pretty cool signed books by authors and fighter pilots, old Beretta gun catalogue from 1957, Sort of blokey 70s gear, half a fish, marbles, 
Some cool old sort of golfing signs. Yeah, so we've got little boxes, some great old sort of advertising car key rings in there. Car badges, Plymouth owner's handbook. So we've got cigarette tins, Elvis, door handles, beer cans. A cool Collingwood one there and some other stuff. Planes, American Army helmet with a heatable aluminium hat block. Pocket knives and things like that. Sort of blokey gear. What else have we got? I think sort of box of wrought iron stuff. Glen Huntley Shopping Centre double sided sign. Madonna. You got a sign, Joel Selwood footy jumper. I think if you look at the signature closely, it just says Ducker. <laughs> nice gouache there of a sort of, looks like a British fleet, sort of World War One. This is the print of the British fleet off Gibraltar. Some nice old golf clubs, crow flight one there, funnily enough with the crow flying on the face. Nice interesting old sort of Vic Rail lamp or lantern. More golf clubs, clocks. And so we got some cool old sort of movie posters. It's a Kodak developing kit in the little plastic thing, but I reckon you could clean that up and turn it into a light. Cool old Buck and Caves reserve sign. Scout gear. Nice books. UFO Shadow Interceptor from the Jerry Anderson TV series. Some Pinup Girl magazine, some cool sort of repro advertising bits. Nice fishing gear with an Abu Garcia reel. Good motoring ephemera. A cannibal fork. Metallica banner. Holden hubcaps. Some more Holden sort of die cast boxed up. Mobile turpentine bottle. A couple of other little sort of oil car bottles. Pretty cool little F86 Sabre ID model. So we've got more sets of golf clubs. Really nice old microscope. Planes, boombox, sprayers, pipes, motoring gear, some clocks, little Russian Pakita ones, pretty cool. There you go, Fab One. Some monks. Nice Caltex tin with a nice little AM Ampol boron top, little spinning top. Big bloody artillery shell. This is a pretty cool pink uh, I2 uh, wooden five wood. More tools and books. WG Grace. James Bond. Australiana. Nice little Zebo tins. These are pretty cool, the old footy boots. Pretty unusual with that little strap across the laces at the front. Love the old leather sort of nailed in stops. Original mud. Really cool. It's a big fold-out sort of diagram about 1941 of how to shoot down a Messerschmitt ME 110. All of its weak points and stuff. Really nice big cane lounge suite, sort of 1960s, 70s with the cool sort of shaped arms on it. Little umbrella's pretty cute as well. Fishing rod's a ripper. Lovely split cane fishing rod. Nice lots of ephemera. More ABBA posters. Lovely old Arts and Art Nouveau barometer, lanterns, hickory shaft clubs. Pretty cool little book over the back there, Plans for Australian Caravans. Really nice fly fishing rod there with all the sort of flies and stuff with it. Some more good tin toys, clocks, Goebbels China. Here's a lovely old Sightlitz powders, Stothert's extra strong. Um, lozenger tin or something. Aerial cameras, pretty amazing. Some aerial film. Silvac, the Vic Rail Lantern's cool. It's got all the different coloured sort of globes on it. More planes, big arc lever scales, that little deco lights. This is all sort of shipping themed um, plated wear. Nice old putter, World War II pilot's helmet. Interesting, the little sort of tyre advertising with the kid climbing through. These are great posters. Another nice old hickory shafted club. Really nice little Watkins, a uh, little sort of flavour sample, a little point of sale thing. The Peter's, little Peter's ice cream thing over the back's a ripper. Little Volkswagen's a bit interesting. Nice bits of Bakelite, mint box dinky toy. Got some pretty interesting stuff at the top. This is a World War I, Japan or World War II, sorry, Japanese water bottle. Funnily enough, it's got a bullet hole through the front there, which goes all the way through the back. All the original strapping and everything on it, great little bit. Little Lifesavers, Lunchbox Ripper, nice Dalton figure, 
It's a nice Beswick. Uh, Eagle, the Martin Boyd Charges, a ripper. Really nice golden fleece oil bottle. This little racing car is a cracker as well. Preston, England. That's some other nice bits I've forgotten to show you, and I can't forget to show you the big bloody Senate sign. Bear in mind Senate's ice cream. Absolute cracker of a bit. Got other good little bits and bobs here. The velvet soap. The mongoose and the cobra. Carved wooden panels, good radios. Yeah, as you can see, guys, there's heaps of good shit this week. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Round like a wrist hole.